Anna Muzichuk is in the race for the top women prizes as she won her game in round 8 of the Gibraltar Masters. She joins us in our studio. Anna, a win with the white pieces, but a good result, but it also looks like you were doing well from the start today. Yeah, it seems like I had a good position from the opening. I didn't expect this perfect defense. Uh, so, yeah, I was mainly checking uh, E5, his main law, and the different kinds of uh, different versions of Rolopus. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we played uh, this one. And uh, in the beginning, I was thinking, but somehow after A4, I think my opponent started to think. So, that was already fine that you were both uh, out of prep. Uh, uh, well, not like out of prep, but at least sometimes, you know, it's better when... Uh, I mean, it's good when your opponent start, uh, stops blitzing, so you feel more confident. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I like my position uh, somewhere here, yeah, like after C3, because I keep the center. And in fact, here your opponent took a long time. He had a long think here, 25 minutes. Uh, yes, I was a bit surprised, uh, because um, night is 6 is... Uh, uh, a bit artificial, maybe also, but uh, he had the idea. As far as I understand, if I well, if I continue with castle, castle, and if I don't play uh, f5, let's say if I go, uh, can I move here? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, let's say like h3 with the idea of g4. Then, pro then perhaps his idea was to play e6 and then uh, to meet uh, g4 with f5. f5. I'm not sure if it's good, but if uh, he isn't lost immediately, then he brings the knight to f7, and um, it's not so fair. Right. In my opinion. And you decided to go full-on combat with F5 yourself. How did you evaluate this move during the game? Uh, yeah, as far as I know, computer likes such moves in <laughs> such kinds of the position, but, uh, you know, during the game you never know. Uh, so, G takes F5, uh, that's what I anticipated, and, uh, um, yeah, I also considered Knight G3 as, uh, yeah, sometimes as another possibility. Uh, but I thought that uh, at least he could play knight f6. It, it's just uh -huh, yeah. like this one, yeah. <laughs> and uh, probably I still have to take it takes f5 with the pawn. To, uh, yeah, if I want to get the same position. But the problem was that after this, not the problem. You actually got the same position in the uh, game. Yes, but well. here there was a strong move h3, as I was already told. <laughs> Uh, I didn't see that and... Uh, not an easy move to think of. Yeah, not <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, the idea is obvious to, put, to play g4 and... Uh, so you don't really care about uh, taking on f5 because you will go g4 yeah, and the knight and doesn't I, have... And I, uh, win the piece. Win a piece. That, yeah. uh, that's actually a nice line, let's have it on board. For example, if you it go bishop f5, yeah, bishop five, g4, g4 and, and there is no place. And then you win the piece. A nice trick, but what you played also looks good for white. Yeah, knight g3, and I thought that instead of c takes d4, he would first take b takes c3, uh, and now like this. And the only line I managed to calculate, let's say queen a5, uh, bishop d2, queen d5, so now he is threatened to take the pawn. Uh, but I saw that I have rook c1, and so after like knight f5, yeah. I think I have rook c8. Nice, and yes. he doesn't have time to take on g3 because you give a check. All right, and uh, for bishop, bishop f5, f5, there is bishop, bishop, c4. No, the bishop c4, then I take the, the knight and then I take the bishop. Nice. Uh, I hope it works. <laughs> yeah, rook c1 is a nice trick. But in the game, actually, the way you played and in this position onwards, uh, you had a very pleasant uh, position and a game, but I think it really. Yes, I think also in this moment, sorry to interrupt you, but I, I think Blake should have played a5 because um, I mean, after king h8, I played a5 myself and uh, now potentially b4 and a6 pawns are weak forever. Right, so a5 was necessary, but things really started to go wrong for black after knight g4. The engines loved your move bishop e4. Why is it so important to trade off this bishop? Uh, I, uh, the decided to take on b4. Yeah, I just saw that uh, the biggest problem of black's position is the pawn structure and also the king is weaker. So if I manage not to let some counterplay or some tricky ideas with rook takes f3 and bishop d4, then I should be winning because right. because the pawn structure is really very bad. Uh, so therefore, bishop e4 seemed logical. Maybe I could maybe I could have taken on, on b4, and that's also fine. But I mean, bishop e4 is actually the strongest move in the. 
in this position. Yeah, maybe, but uh, who knows? You know, <laughs> then bishop d4, queen h4 is No, I mean then. bishop e4 is the strongest move, not bishop b4. What ah, you bishop played. e4, right. ah, okay then. <laughs> yeah, no, because I think what you said, just getting rid of black's strongest piece and you have all the trumps then in the position. Yes, for example, after d5, I can simply go back and then this bishop is blocked and then I can take this pawn in at any moment. I even thought about this idea, bishop takes a 7. Uh, but I'm not sure if it works because there was some line like king, king. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think this. Uh, no, first I start with knight g5. Knight g5. Yeah, it's and uh, then king, king h8. h8. And if I play queen d3, then they take x. Yeah. Take. Sometimes it just doesn't work. And uh, queen g8 is probably the only defense, and yeah. I'm not sure I am. It looks there. ugly, but but it kind of holds everything. Yes, but if I simply play bishop d3, it's already yeah. too good. I mean, now I really threaten bishop b4, so I can just play h3. I mean, all these pieces are... I fine. don't see this uh, pawn getting defended, because even if you go queen e7, you've got rook a4 coming in, and... Uh, you should win this and this bishop looks horrible. Ah, no, for queen f7 uh, there is also the idea like this, knight f6 and I take, take and knight f5. Oh, nice. And then he, there's no way to defend against the... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> very pretty. Okay, but then in the game, after this move, you got... Uh, did you feel that you were very close to winning because... or did Yes, you... after bishop d5, I was sure it's winning and I believe there are many ways uh, how to win, but I wanted to find the most precise one. I'm not sure... I was successful about it because, for example, I can also play like h3, knight f6, <laughs> <laughs> and probably some knight g5, knight g5 yeah. and, but rook e8, and uh, yeah, some lines. I, I played queen e6, just I thought maybe I just take the pawns on d5. It, yeah. Lots so. of pleasant choices to make, and then a very nice trick in the end here after queen e8 just to finish the game. Yeah, knight g7, rook f6, but I think also knight takes d6 is <laughs> very Yeah, annoying. but this just wins on the spot, and the point is that black can't take because you are winning here. Um, happy with the way things went today? <laughs> <laughs> it's better to win, right? <laughs> Absolutely, and tell me, uh, today was very nice, but overall, how, the, how, how has the tournament been for you? Oh, it's unclear, some games so I'm winning. Yesterday I lost to Shahriya, unfortunately, but... Uh, yeah, still two more rounds to go. Let's hope it, they will be fine. Yeah, and you are one of the players who are in the chasing pack for the top prizes. Do you think about that or is it just one game at a time? Uh, in general, we think, but before yeah. the game, we mainly try to concentrate on the game, um, to focus just on this game, because if you think about it all the time, then you can go crazy. Yeah. So better just to think about the game and try to do your best. And Anna, before you go, tell us about playing in Gibraltar because you're a regular star here. Uh, yeah, it's my 10th time in Gibraltar wow. and I really <laughs> like this festival, obviously. I like the atmosphere, I like the organizers. And it's actually my 10th year here as well. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and all these uh, side activities with the master classes. You played the Battle, Battle of the, of the Sexes. Sexes. Yeah, and so on. It's really very nice and, and it's nice to be here. Who can yeah. forget the 96 move in the first game of the Battle of the Sexes? <laughs> 96 was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> well, well done. We wish you all the best for the last two games and we hope to have you back in our studio, Anna. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.